So I've picked this article to do a video about why I think interest rates are going to start coming down as early as May. Now, I said this a few months ago, said it last year, that towards the second half, definitely the end of the first, uh, the second quarter, interest rates will start to come down because there is a balancing act, which, you know, people jumping on the bandwagon now, weeks before the announcement saying, yeah, interest rates are going to be reduced. It is all well and good. But predicting it months, you know, in advance, take some insight. And the reason why I have been saying that they're going to start to drop much earlier than, than the majority is because they're the balancing act of keeping interest rates high and sending the UK into a recession is such a fine line. And with inflation, you know, I know the bank's target is like 2% or the government's target is like 2% or Bank of England is 2%, but 3.2, 3.4 is pretty good to be honest with you and if we can maintain that level and not see it increase too much I think overall behind closed doors people will be pretty happy and at that rate of inflation when uh, wages are going up way more than three percent I think the average is like six percent the the net inflation figure is is much lower when you take all the uh, comparatives into consideration but with retail sales stalling and there will be a ripple effect for other indicators to suggest that if the Bank of England don't start doing something to increase uh, confidence to start spending some money, the, the effects on the UK for a recession are going to be much more damaging than a fucking increase in inflation. And with a election months away we're really not far away probably weeks away from it being called there will be some backdoor conversations on getting the economy into a position just before the election which shows huge signs of recoveries and one of those the no the biggest indicator is lowering interest rates now it's, it's interesting because I've just um, gone for a refinance on a commercial property and we were talking me and the broker about do we go for a two-year fixed do we go for a five-year fixed and um, the fee that is added on is is the same for the two and what we think is going to happen to interest rates over the next two to five years to dictate do we go on a, a variable rate as opposed to, to fixed and when it came down to it just for my circumstances and the product it was still cheaper overall to fix in for five years even at this higher rate because the variable tracker rate um, would make it much more expensive, even over the next two years, even if interest rates were to reduce by about 1.5% over that period, which is what I think they're going to do. I think we're going to come down by 1.5% over the next two years. And um, it still made sense to fix in now when you compared all of the costs over that full period, which I think is a real good sign for other people looking to refinance and maybe holding off for uh, the interest rates to reduce. Because what's happened over the last few months, definitely a year, is mortgage products have become much more competitive to try and get more new applications. But as interest rates reduce and people start climbing over themselves to buy good deals before property prices start to boom, mortgage lenders will start to increase their profit margins. So I don't think we're going to see the products improve a huge amount. They may seem like they will do with headlines, but I can bet your bottom dollar that some of the fees added will overall net it to a similar position to what we're in now. But I think this is a really good indicator that we will see interest rates reduce in May, not by much, maybe by 0.25, but to start to instill that confidence.